I'm back. <laughs>I was I was in contact with West Ham uh, since two years, so the first year they showed me they are interested, so they keep following me in uh, in the French league. So yeah, when they called me, I came I came here and I was very happy to sign here. Yeah, it was a big move um, with also the the price of the the transfer. So it was a uh, it was unbelievable. Also in my country, everyone wa was happy. I say I, w I worked hard to, to, to get this transfer, so no, no pressure. I wanted to, to start playing since the first day, but unfortunately I had, uh, I had an injury. I remember we were in Scotland against Rangers, 20 minutes of playing or 70 minutes, uh, I lost the ball. My toe got stuck on, on the pitch and then I twist my ankle. Everyone was looking, uh, my teammates was looking at my foot and uh, they were like worried and uh, surprised. Directly I saw my ankle swollen so I, I understood that I would take, uh, it would take longer to come back on the pitch. Ligaments are like the guide ropes, they basically support the joints of the body. Uh, so on the outside of the ankle there are three ligaments and on the inside of the ankle there are, there's a big ligament effectively that has a superficial and, and a deep component. Uh, and knife had sustained significant damage to, to both aspects on the medial and the lateral side. So we sought the opinion of a, an ankle uh, specialist in London uh, and we sat down with Nayef and, and we put together a plan. I had two choices. First to to just keep my body healing alone and the second one is to get the surgery as quick as, possi as, quick as possible because uh, um, the World Cup is coming and also to come back uh, quick uh, on the pitch. So I had a conversation also with James Carlo, he's one of the best uh, surgery in, uh, surgeon in, uh, for me in the world. Um, he told me like he had a lot of um, cases like, like mine and um, and the other chose to, to, to do a surgery. I have both scars here, one here, and I have two small scars here. So yeah, no metal inside my ankle, but the scars are really... <laughs> I, I don't live with my family here in London. I'm, I'm just alone here, so I, they try to come when uh, there is holidays, uh, especially with my li little sister. She's in school, so I don't want to disturb her. Uh, I've spent five years in the academy where I was alone, so they, they, uh, they help us to, not like a football player, but to be how to be a man. I don't like to stay in a comfortable zone. Um, I did this when I was young. I went home, out of my home at uh, 12 years old. I went to the academy, far from my family. So yeah, it helped me a lot. It was very difficult because as a young, uh, as a child, you just want to uh, to stay near your parents or uh, to, to see your friends. So yeah, I don't feel lonely. Like uh, I spend a lot of time in, uh, in Rush Green training. So when I go home, I just love to stay at home and chill at home. I had a conversation with the medical staff of West Ham. And for them, it's very important to go out from the rush green and to, to think about uh, another thing because it's very difficult when you come in the morning and everyone is uh, on the pitch and you, you are alone working in the gym. We always try and explain to a player that the rehab process is not a, a constant kind of line and upward trend because actually we have good days, we have bad days and it's, it's quite cyclical. So yeah, we, we're here to support the player uh, when they have those dark days and it's raining outside like it is now here at Rush Green and we've got to take that rehab player out on the pitch and he might be working on his own with the medical staff. We have, we've got to motivate that player, keep the player fresh mentally uh, because then you get more out of the player in the gym and on the pitch. So yeah, we're always trying to find that right balance and hence allowing Nayef to go over to the Moroccan Federation. They proposed me to go to Aspeta or I go to Morocco. So I. I chose Morocco because uh, I know very well uh, the country and uh, I was lucky also because uh, the camp of national team is near my hometown. Uh, I spend a lot of time 
uh, there from the nine, nine o'clock in the morning till uh, 6 uh, p.m. And uh, the evening I was with my family, just dinner and also with my friends, trying to, to forget about the, the injury. I started to play football in the street um, where I used to live. Yeah, I remember in the weekend I was playing football, sometimes with flip-flops, sometimes uh, <laughs> without uh, trainers, just some stones, you know, big. And we play. <laughs> we just play football and touch uh, the ball. My dad wanted me to play football, but my mom no. Um, when the academy went to my home to, uh, to convince my mother to let me go there, it was very difficult because she didn't want. In my mind, it was only football. And to be honest, I was lying to my mom, like I want to be a, <laughs> a lawyer or something, but in my mind it was only football. <laughs> I was close to the, to the squad even when I was injured. When I came back from Morocco, uh, I was on the bench always for the games, uh, just trying to support my teammates. Um, for me, it was very good because uh, it, helped me, it helped me a lot. Like uh, every time they, they're pushing me, like, uh, you will come back, you will come back, and it was very nice from them. Sides, yes, please. Sides, go on. Fire there, man. Come on, a little bit faster on the feet. I was very happy to be with the squad, uh, especially I remember the first training I was like uh, when I did something good in training, like just a small pass and everyone was shouting like good, welcome, yeah, so it was very nice for them. Uh, when I was young I was talking with my mom like football it can change my life to be a professional, it can be my job. She never agreed with this, uh, this idea for her just to go to school and then university and be a normal person. I went to France in 2018, I was 22, I moved to Dijon and it was the first time in Europe. It was a very difficult experience, I spent uh, two years there and it was very difficult but I, I've learned a lot. The two years I didn't play a lot, I went out from Dijon with 22 games in two years, which is not good, it's not a lot, so when they trust me and they, they brought me there to, to, to play and it was the first time I was lucky to play the first time um, the Champions League with the Ren and it was the first time also for the club in the history and um, yeah, I've learned also a lot I took really a uh, pleasure to play with Ren um, I had two uh, good managers in, uh, in two years Julien Stefan and Bruno Genesio and they helped me a lot, they gave me a confidence. We, uh, we were on the pitch and uh, the manager did uh, like a small game with tactic stuff and uh, with the tactic I saw I was with the first team and I was starting so I was very happy. Before I signed here, um, this is what I wanted to, to, to feel, or to live. And then I had the injury, so it was both, like, like new signing and also come back from injury. So, like, emo I was very emotional, we say. Um, I was very happy, to be honest, and I just want to show what I can do. The manager gave me uh, 60 minutes and it was enough to, to, to feel great on the, on the pitch with the teammates and uh, also with the fans, uh, it was very, very good. When I went out I was tired, I was walking and I heard the, the fans, they were uh, clapping and uh, it was unbelievable, especially with the stadium like uh, our stadium is very big so it was very loud. So thanks to them also. Very happy, very proud. Uh, it was hard. I had uh, three months off to the pitch. Um, so today I start my first game with West Ham. Very happy. So let's keep working and keep pushing to come back uh, stronger than before. Come on, lads, come on. Oh, man. Especially in our job as a football 
professional football player, there is something uh, I, I've learned. You get forgotten very quick, very quick. And then when you come back, it's like you erase everything you did before. When you come back, they will wait for you to be good. And uh, yeah, they will not say you had injury. And things that I understand, because it's football, you need to win. And you, know, you need good results and good performance. So yeah, I've learned a lot, a lot, a lot. And uh, yeah, now it's my time now to, to, to keep, uh, to keep uh, working and to keep uh, winning. Because uh, the first thing, as I told you, is winning. Like when you win, everything is okay. Before the injury, um, I was sure like I would play with the national team. But then it's like a slap. You take uh, uh, injury uh, four months before the before the World Cup, and you start to wonder and to ask yourself a lot of questions, and your mind is going very fast. <laughs> everyone is pushing you, even uh, on in, uh, on, so on social media. Everyone is sending you messages when you come back, when you come back. We need you, we need you. So yeah, it's a pressure, but for me, it's a good pressure. They break football in Morocco. So when, when I go in Morocco and I walk in the street, you feel the, how it's important to play for the national team because you can make a country proud. So they love football, they watch every game, every uh, league, Premier League, French League, Spanish League. So they love football and they love big players. A lot of players, they went out from Morocco directly to go to Europe. So I'm one of those players. So they are very proud of me. And especially in my hometown because it's a small city, so it w the summer it was difficult to walk out. To <laughs> and I love because it shows they love. It shows that they love me. And that's what helped me to to come back quick, because uh, in the end, um, the doctor James Calder told me 14 weeks to start on the pitch and 12 weeks I was on the pitch. So it shows that I worked very hard to come back. So I'm very happy. Um, now I just need to care of myself and uh, give uh, 200 percent. <laughs> but you're back. I'm back. <laughs>